Hi, everybody. Okay, uh, just quick here before I start, uh, thank you for sharing this journey with me, and uh, I want you to know that this is a journey about connections of love, and uh, with this journey we learn that love is endless and bountiless. So, real quick here, I hear things very fast, and I speak a little faster. Uh, I tend to get names. If I get names, please don't just listen to names that have passed over, because they often identify by living names as well. Uh, and if you think it's for you, please raise your hand, because I'll know if it is for you or not. Because I can be over here, and they'll pull me over here, and I can be in two sections all at the same time. So you'll know if it's for you by the way that the information comes through. I want to know where I'm hearing an A name, like Alan or Ellen or something to that effect. It's A's or E's with L's. I have an uncle, Alan, a sister, Alicia, and a niece, Aaliyah. Okay, are they all here? Yeah. What about your daddy? My dad, um, my stepdad who died, um, his name's Carson. Okay, he's the one that's coming through. Mm -hmm. Now, did he have a strong effect on your rearing? Did um, he help raise you or was yes. it? Yes. Yes. He talks about as father more than the birth. Yes. Blood. Very much understand? so. Very much so. Uh, and he really has a very strong connection to you and your siblings. Yes. And he talks about it with a lot of honor. Yeah. A lot of he honor. He was all of our, he was our dad. That was so. it. Yeah. That was it. We didn't need the other one. No. <laughs> the other one was a pain in the rear. Yeah. <laughs> you do understand. Yes. Now, I don't know if this is something that happened with him or who he's talking about, but I want to know who, like, won awards and trophies or something. That was him. He played cricket. Yeah. And, 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 and Barry. Yeah, he was good really, at it. Really, really good. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> and he says to me, they're all kind of still on the wall. We have them. Well, we just moved. But, yeah, they were always displayed right. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I assume Mama's still here. Yes. Yes. Very, very strong connection. Yeah. Yes. And it's interesting because her mom's passed? Yes. Yes. Because her mom was very happy about this connection. Yeah. <laughs> because she went through the difficulty of the birth dad. Yep. Who was a major <clears throat> pain in the rear. Yes. Very much was so. he from somewhere else? He's from Guyana, yeah. Yeah. I, I felt like I'm, I'm way out of here. And I mean, the stepdad's like from... Well, I, we the scared. one that raised me was from Barbados, and yeah. then wow. he was from Guyana. Yeah. Interesting. Because very, very different people. Yeah. Very, very different people. And my grandma's Norwegian, so it's like they're... You have a slosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my word made up for, yeah. you know, amazing. Okay. Um, now, does he mean somebody literally has a law degree or went through <laughs> law stuff? My younger sister, who is his actual daughter, um, she's going to school to be a lawyer. Okay. Yeah, she's working towards that. And they're both, both very strong personalities. And okay. she, so she, she didn't get to know him, though, because he, he died when she was two. Okay. So. so he's obviously making a connection to her. Mm -hmm. And I never tell people what they should or they shouldn't do, but if he's coming in, he's obviously wanting you to honor her okay. as part of the family, because I think she needs that, to be quite honest with you. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She does feel a little over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> so, you know, you'll, you'll bring her in. Yeah. Uh, and I also think there should be a particular connection with her and your, one of the sisters. Um, an older sister? Um... My well, sister's going through problems. I don't know how the connection would be. That might be why. Why? Yeah. Now, I want to know who's either about to have a baby or just had a baby. And, uh, another friend of mine had a baby a month ago that I'll be taking right. care I, of. I on think Sunday. three months and one month, but I'll be back over there. Now, this is your grandson, obviously. The three month old, okay. yes. Okay. Is this connected to a daughter? Yes. Obviously, your daughter's still here. Yes. Okay. Uh, where's her father? Uh, in Vancouver. He's still here? Yes. Okay. Then it must be your dad. There's a granddaddy, there's a grandfather, there's a male vibration that's passed over who's honoring this child. Okay. Is it on the father's side, do you know? Um, well, both my biological father and my foster father have both passed. Then it might be them. I'm, I feel like they're definitely honoring the birth of this child. Okay. Okay. And one of them is telling me there's an honor. And honor means usually a first or middle name passed down. So somebody has an honoring with this child. That child has that from his grandfather who is passed. Thank you. Yes. It's on that side. Yes. And that's his way of coming through and being very, very pleased okay. about this. Okay. Now, um, this child, by the way, is going to have a lot of energy. So tell her to hold on tight, okay? <laughs> and there's somebody in the family, quite literally, that did things with their legs. Like, I don't know if they danced, I don't know if they ran, I don't know if they did sports, something. That could be me. Okay. Because they're, they're saying that there's going to be blood thing with this child. Okay. Okay? Now, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm with 
you guys in here, but I'm not sure if I'm over there. Suzanne, there was another uh, baby over here. Is that connected to you? And this is your baby? I mean, I don't mean yours. Yours yeah. connected. My, my cousin's my cousin's third child was born in April. It was born in April. Was just born. Mm -hmm. uh, is this cousin on your mama's side? Uh, yes. But mama's still here. Yes. Is the mama of the? Yes. My aunts are all still here. Okay. Would the grandmother be passed? Yes. So she'd be the grandmother of all of them. Yes. With the lineage. Yes. So she's the one that's real pleased. Who's the A name connected with her? I want to say I'm on the scene. Arlene, Anna, something, A R or A N's. Who's that to you? My cousin Paige just had a baby, and her sister is Arlene. That's it. <laughs> we have a partial baby section on here. <laughs> Extended it. Okay. okay. All right. So, um, but Grandma's definitely giving you the honor. Now, it's your cousin. Yeah. And her. Her. She just had a baby. Yeah. Okay. And Arlene is who to her? It's the sister. It's the sister. My cousin's sister, my cousin. Got it. And she's still here? Yeah. Okay. I want to know who's connected or who's just passed in the last year. Uh, they're, they're grandparents. Grandparents. Both of them? So, uh, yeah, on, on this side that's not related to me. Got it. Because they're talking about very strong connection there. Yeah. Yes. Now, I want to know who had something to do with boats or houseboats or something. He, I, I believe he was an avid, uh, avid sailor. The, uh... Okay. Because he's coming through. Yeah. And he's talking about a connection to these children. Okay. Now, is this the only child she has? Yeah. See, yeah, that's her first child. Okay. There must be another one in the family. Uh, her sister, is Ar Arlene, actually, is, is pregnant. <laughs> Arlene? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you think that qualifies for that connection? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. How, now, how many months uh, pregnant is she? Uh, a three, I think. Three. Now, yes. is the one that we had a, a girl? Uh, no, it's a boy. Okay, so the one's gonna be next one's gonna be a girl. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we won't tell them. <laughs> we'll keep this all a secret. Yes. Sure. Okay. Now, your father's here. Yeah. Where's your dad? I don't know my dad. Okay. Never did. That's why. I feel like I'm empty there. Okay, but there's another man who talks about being connected to you, rearing you. So I don't know if this was an uncle or a grandfather. My stepfather. Okay, thank you. Same guy, who's yeah. also passed. And uh, January. Yes, he stands next to you. He says, "I'm her father." Wow, wow, Suzanne, I want to I want to ask this gentleman, uh, your friend that passed away in in November. Uh, he was really close to you, right? Yeah, yeah. My my oldest friend, my closest friend. Is he coming back to you in in any way, or or I know he came back tonight through Suzanne. I yeah, actually, I've been I've been working about writing about him, so it was really strange when you. Good good, good luck with that, and and it was your brother, right? Your, no, it was you, my friend. Your friend. Um, he he died um, out suddenly, and he always had cried because his best friend was killed in a motorcycle accident. And I was a healer, I'm a healer, and I was trying to help him not feel guilty. Mm -hmm. right. And when he, to hear that he's passed over, that he's with his friend, wow. the whole healing for right. him mm -hmm. is fantastic. That was the motorcycle. Wow. All the wow. Motorcycle. And, and you, sir, uh, you got to get a message from the, the guy who kind of raised you. Yeah, um, that was really crazy. I knew he'd get through that because he was such a strong personality. His nickname was Stump. He was little, but he was just like full of fire. <laughs> Suzanne, is there any, I know you talk a lot about this in your books and your seminars. Is there, is there anything that you, you want to tell us now or, or, or need to tell us at this point? Well, again, I, I said it's really all about learning to listen and, and, and keeping our minds and hearts open because they do connect you. As a matter of fact, it's part of their job. And because of this, you no longer need to feel helpless when somebody you love dies. And you can resolve those issues <laughs> around his or her departure and accept the gifts of the knowledge that they can bring you in healing with your own soul's path. And that's really kind of what, what happened here. Uh, so always keep in mind that the word courage lies in the base of the heart and that know that nothing can ever separate you from love, not even death.